Hey guys, what's up? In today's tutorial, we are going to do some architectural doodles and I'm gonna share my best tips for drawing buildings. Alright, so Chris and I were recently in Paris, as most of you probably know, and there's all these iconic buildings there. So naturally I was drawn to doodle them, and they're sort of the perfect buildings to doodle if you're not really into architectural drawing because they are so iconic, so you can really simplify them. And that's what we're going to talk about today, how to simplify complicated architectural forms um, and basically turn people into little squiggles. So let's get into it. So here are some of my building doodles. I've done a bunch of the places that we visited in Paris and I've just sketched them in pencil on graph paper. Uh, a little bit of food in there as well, actually. <laughs> so there's the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre and you can see I've tried sketching the Louvre two different ways. Um, so you can simplify it more or less and then I've ended with Notre Dame and that's the one that we're gonna focus on today because I actually think it's the most complicated but the most fun to draw. So what you're gonna need is graph paper uh, a good copy paper could be your journal or a sketch pad, a pencil and eraser, some artist pens, uh, some washi tape is always good to have on hand. And then to transfer our initial practice sketch, you'll need some graphite transfer paper, or you can just use pencil for that if you don't have that. And we'll talk about that later. And you'll also need tracing paper, which you can grab at the dollar store. That's the cheapest place to get it. It's always super expensive at art stores. So something to keep in mind. So let's get this out of the way. We are going to do our doodle on graph paper. Graph paper makes this process so much easier because everything can be equally spaced without a lot of thought. And we are going to start sketching out Notre Dame. And actually, let's just pause for a moment. And I'm going to pull up a photo of Notre Dame, put it on the screen here so that you can look back and forth uh, as often as you want. And you can always kind of see what I'm talking about and what I'm doodling. So with any building, the first thing you want to think about is what shape is it? Uh, and just try to step back and think real simple, what shape is it? And Notre Dame is sort of divided into these three big columns. And the graph paper makes that really easy for me to draw because I can make each column or each section of the building uh, three squares wide and I'm able to kind of see as I doodle here, okay, I didn't quite make the two uh, outer sides tall enough as this, you can see that that middle section is much shorter. So the graph paper also helps you to kind of eyeball things a little bit. Now I want to start by doing the top section here and you can see on the top there's some ornate work. Well I'm just going to do some lines and again in this middle section there's all this ornate stuff and I can just do some simple lines and that sort of captures that idea that there's some stuff there. There's some architectural elements. Well guess what it's all just a bunch of sketchy lines on my little doodle. Some of them are going horizontal and some vertical so you're really really simplifying the form. I'm also going to do those big windows on the top sections here and just put a border around them because again all the architectural details that might be surrounding those big windows I can really just um, represent with an extra line and I'll add some line shading in the windows as well. Now we're gonna go down to the next section here. And of course there's that iconic window in the middle. It's very ornate and we are gonna give it a border because borders make it look more interesting and add that extra architectural detail. And then it's basically just a flower. So you can really see how much I'm simplifying, but this is gonna to come together. It might look a little weird right now, but I promise you. Again, borders here to capture all of that architectural detail. And then this is where these kings are standing, these statues, uh, and I'm just going to make them right into squiggles. That's all we need. So I think it is, it can be difficult when you look at a building and think, well, there's all these different details and elements and statues and, and marble work, and you can just simplify, simplify, simplify. So the statues of people can be a squiggle and uh, columns can just be lines and all these pillars can just be lines and horizontal elements like more molding or bits of roof can just be, you got it, can just be horizontal lines. So let's move down to the bottom section here. 
Again, I'm sort of working section by section, so I'm just taking it slow and saying, okay, well, now what's in this middle section? Well, it's the curved window and the round window. And all along this bottom section, there are pairs of doors in each uh, portion. And so we're just making sure all those are the same height. And then there's this, these, these huge doorways that are quite ornate. And to show how ornate they are, I'm basically just going to do uh, a series of lines to show that they, this will help with that perspective because they do sort of recede into the building. And it will also help to make it look like there's an interesting architectural element there. There's something going on there. Now there's also a little steeple at the back of Notre Dame, not a little one, but it looks little because it is in the back, so you can add that. Uh, and that's my doodle. Remember, this is just the practice round. You can always add trees or people to help with the scale of your doodle. And don't beat yourself up. This is just your practice on graph paper. So very, very perfectly imperfect. Next, what we're gonna do is take our tracing paper, tape it in place so it doesn't move, grab a pen. It, you might wanna do this with a smaller nib. For that first one, I used the 08 so that you guys could really see it so that it'd be sort of cute and chunky. Now I'm gonna take a nib that's a little thinner, a little finer, and I'm gonna go over this. And this is your chance to really refine, even though it is still a doodle, even though it's still supposed to be a little cute, a little funny, um, because it is quite whimsical, right? Like you've turned people into squiggles, you've turned beautiful columns into just lines uh, but this is your time to sort of refine make sure things are fairly straight and fairly even and uh, I always love going over things in tracing paper because it's just fun to kind of um, refine your illustration so that's it there. We'll lift that off of the graph paper. And now we've got this traced image that we can use to transfer into our bullet journal or sketchbook or just a good piece of paper. You can see here, I've got a little spiral bound uh, notebook that I like to put sort of good copy drawings in. So I am gonna tape the tracing paper in, try my best to make sure that it's straight on that page. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell. And I will take my graphite transfer paper and we are gonna place it dark side down. Now, if you don't have that, you can put your pencil, the graphite from your pencil on the back of the traced image. So just scribble all over the back and then uh, follow along here. Take tape it in your booklet and uh, go over it in pencil. And that would be another way to transfer your image. And you can see, it's sort of up to you how much you want to transfer. I find with the graphite, sometimes it can get a little muddled. It can be a bit heavy and hard to erase. So I, what I do is I just transfer the basics and then I keep my tracing paper right there. And I've already sort of doodled this twice now. So I know, you know, how I'm gonna doodle the steeple. I know what I'm, details I'm gonna to add to these windows. So with a little help from my transfer and with my illustration right beside me, I can get this nice clean transferred illustration uh, that looks really good in my sketchbook. Um, but it is totally up to you. You could transfer as much of that doodle as you like. And you can see mine coming together here with lots of line shading, a nice difference between the dark windows and the lighter walls. And the last thing I wanna show you is that for some reason, I colored in my windows really heavily and that just takes time, it takes a lot of ink and it just does not look as good. You can see when I do a little bit of angled line shading, it looks so much better and I can actually darken up uh, one side a little more than the other and that is so much more sophisticated and looks so much better and makes the doodle look uh, so much more lively, I think. So let me just write my landmark in here. This is my own little souvenir now that I love. And let me take you back to the beginning of today's video when I had all these fun little doodles on graph paper. Well, I transferred all of them to tracing paper and I actually cut them out so that I could kind of work the layout a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to know where to place things, but tracing them and then cutting them out, well, you can actually work your layout out physically, you don't have to just come up with it in your brain <laughs> with your imagination, um, if you know what I mean. So I am getting my layout down and I'm gonna make this really fun little piece for my bullet journal um, that's kind of like my own little souvenir of all my favorite places in the city, or, well, let's be real, all the big landmarks that we visited in the city. My favorite places were like restaurants. <laughs> okay, that's it when it was all done. Just these memories of our trip food and the city.
There's so many things you can do with these little architectural details and that's what I kind of hope to show today. Um, that's the finished Notre Dame. I think he needs maybe a few little trees around him or something, but uh, yeah, I'm super happy with it. And actually, I think the smaller these doodles are, the better. So keep that in mind as well when you're getting started. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon with a new video.